Hello everyone, my name is Joseph P. Udoka and um, today I'll be taking you on a workshop on how to score any gospel song. If you enjoy this video at the end of watching, you can subscribe to my channel or you can give me a comment on what you learned. Or you can like my video now we are going to be using the song Jesus at the center by Eben to look at how to score any song especially gospel songs now what does it mean to score a song to score a song means to analyze a song with the intention of knowing the most or if or if possible all the various sections or components of that song what does that mean it means to understand the song so that you can sing it or you can present it as a choir now let's move to the next item of discussion which is the components or which are the components of a song to analyze Now, what are the components of the song to extract or to analyze? The components are very many, so we may not be able to take all, but let's see what we can take. Number one, you need to look at the artist of the song. Some persons don't know the artist of the song, they just listen to it in a church or from a friend's mouth or something and they want to learn it that way. In this way, you can't get to know who the song singer is and when you are asked who sang the song um, you will not know so it's always good for you to know the artist of the song so the artist of the song is Eben and the the album is Victory I know that some of you know the song that says hallelujah hey, hey, hallelujah hey, hallelujah hey. If Jesus has given me victory, you victory. So that's the album. So the first thing you need to know is the artist of the song. The song is at, the song is done by Aben. That is Jesus at the center. Then the album is Victory. The song title is Jesus at the center. The key of the song is G major. G major. If you can play a keyboard, you understand what I mean. If you can't play, you can learn it so you can know the various keys of a song. Then you need to know the various various instruments used. Was the bass guitar used? Was the piano used? And then the drums. So in this song, the various instruments that were used that were noticeable one bass we have bass guitar number number two is piano and number three is drums you may have others but these are the ones i detected now number six and another component of a song is the notes which are found in the song very important the notes so many persons follow song by just listening and singing after somebody but when you ask them to write down the notes they are not able to so if they cannot record the song, they will not remember the song. A lot of persons, when they see a song that is written in staff or in notes, they can't sing it because they don't understand notes. Now let's go to the next component. The next component of um, you need to know when you want to score a song is the beats. Is a song, some parts of the song, full beats will be applied have beats to be applied. Some of them is quarter notes or beats. Some of them is three quarter. Some of them is um, one beat and half. If found in the song. So you need to look at it and then as part of the component as well, number eight is the dynamics. Some various section of the song they would sing it with with some stress high some low 
There is power in your name. So highness or lowness, speed, etc. Apply the various segments of the song or various sections of the song. Then number nine, style or meter. Is it four on four? Is it three on four? Is it three on eight bits? Is it two on two bits in a bar on a section? It's very important to know the style of meter. Then number 10, as a component, you need to know the singing or the presentation order. For this song, for this song, Jesus at the center, it was the it was the piano that actually started it before followed by soloist that's by Eben, a solo voice then after that the choir now sang it but it was still in unison so you need to know the presentation or the how the song starts then what follows till how it ended Number 11, as another component of the song is the singing range. You need to know the highest note of that song and the lowest note of that song so that you will know how to stretch and if that key will be good for you. Mr. Chingo sings most of our song in key B. Key B. All right, let's go ahead. Um, the, next, the next component of um, that you need to consider when you want you want to score a song is I can put them as other ingredients that is section with solo voice section with section with harmony if there is a change of key you need to know at which point was a change of key applied switching of parts maybe the treble will now be singing the part of tenor and the auto will be singing the part of tenor or all that then the section of the song that is just instruments only and section of the song that is voice only which we can say a cappella all right i hope you are following if you like the video give me a like if you want to subscribe to my to to my channel you are free to subscribe and if you have a comment you can ask or you can drop in the comment section now let's look at um, the notes of a song all notes found in the song can be seen as a note of a song do re mi va so la ti do then after that they, we have d e do di re ri mi va fi so si la li ti do persons will not understand what i've done that is from moving from low to high but if you are going from high to low it also have a way that you can sing them now to get the notes of the song means you must know note names formation and how to sing or you know, produce them number two be willing to learn be willing to practice and perfect on item number one above meaning you need to know it some persons they don't know how to pronounce or sing the notes so how can they sing the song they will have they will have issues or challenges of changing of key this is where people sing song and change key. Then another item you need to know for you to be good in notes, have an instrument or tutor to guide you produce the notes until you are approved to work alone. So these are the things you need to know. Note, you know note names, formation, and how to sing or produce them. Then be willing to learn, practice, and perfect on item one above. Then have an instrument or tutor to guide you produce the notes until you are approved to work alone. Now, looking at the notes, Jesus at the center. Fa so la 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 so re mi re do re mi re do re mi la. Then you have the instrument. Do do ti, do do. do do ti la fa so la 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 so re mi mi re do re mi so re do re mi la do ti la so at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see 
Some of you may not understand the notes. Full beat was applied. This indented is you um, indented line can be a bar, and this I'm using two two beats here, two beats in a bar, two beats in a bar. So you can use four on four, or two on two, depending on which one you want to use. Then I was supposed to put it four on four, so you can write it. In terms of the meter now there is power in your name miracles happen in your name as we lift our voice in praise or as we lift our voice in praise it's you that I see it's you that I see you are bigger, bigger than the biggest. Do 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 You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. I didn't put greatest, okay? You are greater, greater than the greatest. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher than the highest. Then, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Then, at the center of it all, is you that I see. Is you that I see. This all ends. So this, if you know the notes and apply all the other components, following the order of the song, and you know bringing in the harmony at Jesus, and applying every other every other component, the song will be very wonderful during presentation. All right, I offer a one-on-one -on -one training for those who want to learn it, and it is a two-month course. So if you want to get the details on how much it will cost you, you can reach me on 0703415979. I repeat, 0703415979. Don't contact me if you are not ready to go for the course. But you may ask me one or two things about what and how you learn. And I would be happy to let you know. But as long as you can learn using WhatsApp, using Google Meet, using Zoom, then you can learn from me from any part of the world. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I provided value for you.